Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in Yahuwah, and believe also in me. In my Father's house are many staying places, and if not, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I shall come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, you might be too. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. To Uma said to him, At tonight, we do not know where you are going, and how are we able to know the way? Yahusha said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the Kai. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father too. From now on you know him and have seen. Philippos said to him, Atenai, show us the Father and it is enough for us. Yahusha said to him, Have I been with you so long and you have not known me, Philippos? He who has seen me has seen the Father. And how do you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak for myself, but the Father who stays in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Otherwise, believe me because of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he shall do also. And greater than these he shall do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I shall do in order that the Father might be esteemed in the bond. If you ask whatever my name, I shall do it. If you love me, you shall guard my commands, and I shall ask the Father, and he shall give you another helper, to stay with you forever, the rock of the truth, whom the world is unable to receive, because it does not see him or know him, but you know him, for he stays with you and shall be in you. I shall not leave you orphans, I am coming to you. Yet a little while, and the world no longer sees me, but you shall see me because I live, and you shall live. In that day, you shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He who possesses my commands and guards them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me shall be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and manifest myself to him. Yahudah, not the one from Kerioth, said to him, Atanai, what has come about that you are about to manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Yahusha answered him, If anyone loves me, he shall guard my word. And my father shall love him, and we shall come to him and make our stay with him. He who does not love me does not guard my words, and the word which you hear is not mine, but of the father who sent me. These I have spoken to you while still with you, but the helper, the rock Hakodash, whom the father shall send in my name, he shall teach you all and remind you of all that I said to you. Shalom I leave with you, my shalom I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You heard that I said to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you love me, you would have rejoiced that I said, I am going to the Father. For my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you, before it takes place, that when it does take place, you shall believe. I shall no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he possesses not in me. But in order for the world to know that I love the Father, and that as the Father commanded me, so I am doing. Rise up, let us go from here. Hallelujah. Uah. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, so that it bears more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Stay in me, and I in you, as the branch is unable to bear fruit of itself, unless it stays in the vine. So neither you, unless you stay in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who stays in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit because without me, you are able to do not. If anyone does not stay in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you stay in me, and my words stay in you, you shall ask whatever you want, and it shall be done for you. In this my Father is esteemed, that you bear much fruit, and you shall be my Talmud. As the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Stay in my love. If you guard my commands, you shall stay in my love even as I have guarded my Father's commands and stay in His love. These I have spoken to you, so that my joy might be in you, and that your joy might be complete. This is my command, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, that one should lay down his kai for his friends. You are my friends, if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants. 
for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all which I heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he might give you. These I command you so that you love one another. If the world hates you, know that it hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world will love its own. But because you are not of the world, yet I chose you out of the world. For that reason, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they shall persecute you too. If they have guarded my word, they will guard yours too. But all this they shall do to you because of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father as well. If I did not do among them the works which no one else did, they would have no sin, but now they are both seen and have hated both me and my father. But that the word might be filled which was written in the Torah, they hated me without a cause. And when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the rock of the truth, whom comes from the Father, he shall bear witness of me. But you also bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. These I have spoken to you, so that you do not stumble. They shall put you out of the congregations. But an hour is coming, when everyone who kills you shall think he is rendering service to Alua. And this they shall do to you, because they did not know the Father, nor me. But I have said these to you, so that when the hour comes, you remember that I told them to you. And these I did not say to you at the beginning, for I was with you. But now I go away to him who sent me. And not one of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these to you, grief has filled your heart. But I say the truth to you, it is better for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper shall not come to you at all. But if I go, I shall send him to you. And having come, he shall reprove the world concerning sin, and concerning righteousness, and concerning judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to my Father, and you see me no more. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have much to say to you, but you are not able to bear them now. But when he comes, the rock of the truth, he shall guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak from himself, but whatever he hears, he shall speak, and he shall announce to you what is to come. He shall esteem me, for he shall take what is mine and announce it to you. All that the Father has is mine. That is why I said, he takes from what is mine and announces it to you. A little while, and you do not see me, and again a little while, and you shall see me, because I am going to the Father. Therefore, some of his Talmudim said to one another, what is this that he says to us a little while, and you do not see me? And again, a little while, and you shall see me, and because I go to the Father. So they said, What is this that he says a little while? We do not know what he is saying. Yahusha, therefore, knew that they were wanting to ask him. And he said to them, Are you asking one another about what I said a little while, and you do not see me? And again, a little while, and you shall see me? Truly, truly, I say to you, that you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and you shall be grieved, but your grief shall become joy. The woman has grief when she is in labor, because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the affliction, for joy that a man was born into the world. And you, therefore, have grief now, but I shall see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and no one takes your joy away from you. And that day you shall ask me not. Truly, truly, I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he shall give you. Until now, you have asked not in my name. Ask, and you shall receive, in order that your joy might be complete. These I have spoken to you in figures of speech, but an hour is coming when I shall no longer speak to you in figures of speech, but I shall declare the Father plainly to you. In that day, you shall ask in my name, and I do not say that I shall pray the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and have believed that I came forth from Yahuwah. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. His Talmudim said to him, See, now you are speaking plainly and not using figure of speech. Now we know that you know all and have no need that anyone should question you. By this, we believe that you came forth from Yahuwah. Yahusha 
answered them, Do you not believe? See, an hour is coming, and has now come, that you are scattered, each to his own, and shall leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These I have spoken to you, that in me you have peace. In the world you have pressure, but take courage. I have overcome the world. The Prayer of Yahusha Yahusha said these and lifted up his eyes to the Shamayim and said, Abba, the hour has come. Esteem your bond, so that your bond also might esteem you, as you have given him authority over all flesh, that he should give everlasting Kai to all who you have given him. And this is everlasting Kai, that they should know you, the only true Alua, and Yahusha Mashiach, whom you have sent. I have esteemed you on the earth, having accomplished the work you have given me that I should do. And now, esteem me with yourself, Abba, with the esteem much I had with you before the world was. I have revealed your name to the men whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have guarded your word. Now, they have come to know that all you gave to me is from you, because the words which you gave to me, I have given to them. And they have received them, and have truly known that I came forth from you, and they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. And all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been esteemed in them. And I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to you, Korash Father, guard them in your name which you have given me, so that they might be one, as we are. When I was with them in the world, I was guarding them in your name which you have given me. And I watched over them, and not one of them perished except the son of destruction that the scripture might be filled. And now I come to you, and I speak these in the world, so that they have my joy completed in them. I have given them your word, and the world hated them because they are not of the world, as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the wicked. They are not of the world, as I am not of the world. Korosh them in your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also sent them into the world. And for them I korosh myself, so that they too might be korosh in truth. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those believing in me through their word, so that they all might be one, as you, Abba, are in me, and I in you, so that they too might be one in us, so that the world might believe that you have sent me. And the esteem which you gave me, I have given them, so that they might be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, so that they might be perfected into one, so that the world knows that you have sent me, and I have loved them as you have loved me. Abba, I desire that those whom you have given me might be with me where I am, so that they see my esteem that you have given me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, indeed the world did not know you, but I knew you, and these knew that you sent me. And I have made your name known to them, and shall make it known, so that the love with which you love me might be in them, and I in them. Hallelujah. I pray that this word was a baraka, a blessing unto you, and may you have a pleasant meditation or sleep if you are listening. Shalom.